O C D. It has been a while since Variety Moms got together and we thought it would be fun if we regrouped with a scavenger hunt at no other than the Dollar Tree. We each challenged each other to take to the Dollar Tree and find specific items to hunt for. The first challenge was issued by our newest mom. I'll have her channel linked right above here. And she challenged us to go into the Dollar Tree and find an item that describes our personality. So I took to a personality quiz to find out exactly what my personality is. And it was no shocker to find out what the results were. So my personality test resulted in as the ISFJ, the protectors. And the I stands for introverted. 17% of it was thought-oriented, reserved, reflective, and observant. The S was 8% and it was traditional, realistic, practical, and detail-oriented. F was for feeling and that was 21% and it was empathetic, accepting, warm, values harmony and the last one was j for judging now they didn't give a percentage so i'm assuming maybe if you added up the other three it was what was left and that one was organized systematic achievement oriented and planner if you know me at all you know anything about me that describes me to a t the characteristics of the ISFJ is conflict avoidant, warm, supportive, and friendly, willing to please others, practical, thorough, and consistent, organized, and responsible. It also makes up about only 12% of the population. I thought that was an amazing fact. They even gave us some examples of famous ISFJ people. Anthony Hopkins, Naomi Watts, Rosa Parks, and my favorite, Christopher Walken. I thought that was pretty dang cool. Now let's take off to the Dollar Tree and see what I found. Here is where you would find my personality. This is the closest thing that they have to plan is right now. Calendar, to do, grocery list, O, C, D. The next mom to challenge us was Raina from Randomly Raina. I'll have her channel linked up above. And she challenged us to head into the Dollar Tree and seek out a healthy snack item. Let's check out what I found. Here's your first option of a healthy snack. And you have all these. And these have been around for a very, very long time. But I've never seen the mixed fruit one. That one is new to me. You definitely have some choices there at the Dollar Tree. This is the one I ended up picking up. I have never seen this there. I've never bought it before. Well, obviously, if I've never seen it, I never bought it before, right? Um, so this is the one I picked up, and we're going to try it together. It's apple chips hot for chocolate. It's got all those good features about it. It's never fried, 100% Fuji apples. There's only two ingredients, which I'm assuming is the apples and the chocolate. It's got 14 grams of carbohydrates, 2 grams of fiber, 12 grams of sugar, and there's 60 calories, and this one bag is considered a serving. So there's some smaller pieces in there, but this is what it looks like. When you first bite into them, it almost tastes like they're stale. I don't know if they actually are 
if that's just the way it is but once you get through that it's like actually biting into a piece of apple i barely get any chocolate i mean to say there's a hint of chocolate would be giving it a little bit more credit all right that second piece had i should say second bite had a little bit more of a dusting of chocolate um i wouldn't repurchase it again but then again i'm not a huge big fan of this type of snack it's probably too healthy for me and the third and final challenge was by our mom tara i'll have her channel linked right here and she challenged us to go and seek an item that represents our channel now my motto in life when it comes to money is to spend as little of it out of pocket as possible and one way that i do that when it comes to shopping for things for the home is at the dollar tree i've got two perfect examples here of what i mean when i say that the first one is this sunbeam led desk lamp i recently picked this up at the dollar tree for a dollar sells on amazon for eight dollars the next one is very very impressive brownie perfect for one individual sized brownie in a mug a 10 pack for a dollar at the dollar tree of course i had to go search to see what this would cost outside the dollar tree and i decided to search walmart because i figured out of all the grocery stores that's probably the one that would carry this the cheapest versus somewhere like target and i was shocked to find out they only sell up to a six pack and they charge $16.81 for something that I picked up at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Now, can you walk in there any given day and buy things like this, like the lamp? No, this is, you know, something that um, they might have did a closeout and they just got a bunch of it and we were able to snag it. Same thing with this, the expiration date on this is still good until november of 2019 um, i'm sure they have their reasons why they're able to sell this to a store like dollar tree for such a little amount but i don't care what the reason is 22 dollars 22 dollars in my pocket instead of amazon's pocket and walmart's pocket that is exactly what represents my channel and let me show you the walmart right there so there's the six pack and there's the amount they do sell it in smaller and even in the smaller pack it's more expensive so that completes the three challenges that i was given if you want to find out a little bit more about variety moms i will link variety mom playlist right above give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more scavenger hunts from variety moms also, leave down below a comment where you would like us to scavenger hunt next. Go check out the other mom's videos so you can find out what my challenge was to them. Bye!